Hello everyone, welcome to SciEase. In this video, I will discuss about the chemical properties of the carbon compounds. We have read about the carbon compounds, that is they are alkanes, alkenes and alkynes. The chemical properties we will study are combustion, substitution reaction, oxidation and addition reactions. Now first thing is what is combustion? You must know what combustion is. The process of burning of the carbon compounds in air to give carbon dioxide, water plus lot of heat energy that is evolved and sometimes light energy that is also given out. So when we burn simply carbon, coke, in air, in sufficient supply of air, then carbon dioxide plus heat plus light that is formed. In the same way, all the hydrocarbons, whether they are saturated hydrocarbons or unsaturated hydrocarbons, they will produce carbon dioxide, water, heat and light. You can take the case of methane, the simplest hydrocarbon. It gives, it is a very good fuel. It is one of the constituent of the biogas, CNG. So when it burns, this will result in the formation of carbon dioxide plus water plus heat plus light again. In the same way, other hydrocarbons, you know about LPG. It is in the cylinder, there is butane. What is the formula of butane? It is C4H10. LPG is a very good fuel and we all depend on that. And here also heat and light that is produced. And sometimes the whole of the burner of the gas stove, they are blocked. Then they produce the sooty flame, some smoke, the blackening of the utensil that will be there because of the formation of the sooty flame. Otherwise, when the holes, they are open, this means that there is sufficient supply of oxygen. So, the flame that will be blue and it will produce a lot of heat. But in case of the unsaturated compounds, when they burn, they burn with a sooty flame, smoke that is produced along with it. Now you can take any hydrocarbon, ethanol I have taken, when it burns in air, it also produces carbon dioxide plus water plus heat plus light. Sometimes water that is in the form of water vapor. Don't think that this is a water liquid. Now this is all about the combustion. And combustion reactions, they are shown by saturated and unsaturated compounds. Now the second type of the substitution reaction I'm telling you, that is shown by only alkanes. This is the difference. Combustion is shown by both saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons, but substitution reactions, they are shown by only saturated hydrocarbons or you can say alkanes. Alkanes, they have single bond and they are unreactive, I have told you. So, 
first thing you should know is the definition of substitution reaction. Substitution reaction is a reaction in which one or more hydrogen atoms of hydrocarbon, they are replaced by some other atoms like chlorine, bromine. If it is replaced by chlorine, then the process that is known as chlorination. I will take an example. The simplest hydrocarbon, I will take methane again. Plus chlorine, when chlorine is added to it. But one thing, you should know that this reaction takes place in the presence of sunlight. Photochemical reaction, this is. So, what will be the result? One of the hydrogen of methane that will be substituted or replaced, you can say, by chlorine. And the product will be CH3Cl plus HCl. Further, if we go on supplying chlorine, all the hydrogens of methane that can be replaced by chlorine one by one. Now I will tell you, now we have, this is chloromethane. CH3Cl is chloromethane. When we add chlorine to chloromethane, in the presence of sunlight, what will be the result? This is dichloromethane. Dichloromethane. That will be formed. Two chlorine. Now this reaction that can further be carried, carried out, that is CH2, Cl2. If we go on passing chlorine in the presence of sunlight again, so the result will be CHCl3. Common name is chloroform. Otherwise, it is trichloromethane plus HCl. The reaction can be further proceeded. How? Now, when we go on passing chlorine through chloroform or trichloromethane, the remaining hydrogen that will again be replaced by chlorine and we will get carbon tetrachloride or tetrachloro, tetra, because there are four, tetrachloromethane. So this is a substitution reaction. You can take bromine also. This is chlorination. When chlorine, it replaces the hydrogens of methane. So uh, these are very important reactions from examination point of view. Sometimes substitution reaction that is asked and you should know it properly. Now, third chemical property of carbon compound, that is the oxidation. We have read about oxidation in chemical reactions. So here, carbon compounds, they can be easily oxidized on combustion. I have just told you when I was teaching combustion. In addition to this complete oxidation, we have reactions in which alcohols, they are converted to carboxylic acid. Here, I have taken ethanol, CH3, CH2, OH, or you can write it like C2H5, OH. When this is heated, in the presence of alkaline KMnO4 or acidified, K2Cr2O7, potassium dichromate, the result will be the carboxylic acid or ethanoic acid. Ethanol converted to ethanoic acid. Here, oxygen that is provided to the starting material. 
So these will act as the oxidizing agent. KMnO4 and K2Cr2O7. So this is about the third chemical property of carbon compound. Now the next very very important property of carbon compound that is the addition reaction. I have told you that substitution reactions they are shown by alkenes. But this addition reactions like addition of hydrogen, chlorine or bromine they are characteristic property of the unsaturated hydrocarbons. And you know that unsaturated hydrocarbons are alkenes and alkynes. We will take the simplest alkene that is ethene CH2 double bond CH2. The reaction will take place when hydrogen is added to it. This is known as hydrogenation. When it is added to it, the reaction takes place in the presence of nickel or palladium as a catalyst. And the result will be CH3, CH3. So here the addition that takes place across the double bond. Like H, H. You can split H2 as H. One H will go to this carbon and another H that will go to this carbon. So what will be the result? Double bond, you will not put double bond again. Here addition has taken place and the result will be ethane. This is the conversion you can say of ethane to ethane. Now this reaction has an industrial application that is hydrogenation of oils. This is the formula of the vegetable oil and vegetable oil as you know groundnut oil etc. They are in the liquid state. When H2 is added to it, that is hydrogenation of oil that takes place. Again, HH, they will be added across the double bond. So one H that will go to this carbon and another H will go to this carbon. And the result will be the formation of the vegetable ghee, which is in solid state. So this is the industrial application and many times it's asked how this vegetable oil that can be converted into vegetable ghee. Now we can show sometimes the addition of Cl2 or Br2 or HCl that may be asked in the exam. So we will take the addition of Cl2. If it is double bond and Cl2 that is added. So I will write Cl2 like Cl Cl. So what will be the result? One Cl that will go here and another Cl will go here. The reaction will take place in the presence of nickel or palladium as catalyst and here we will heat it. So what will be the result? CH2, CH2 that will remain as it is and here Cl that will be formed. So what is the name? 1, 2. It is 1, 2 dichloroethane dichloroethane. In the same way, you can show the addition of BrBr. Now, I will take the case of ethyne CH triple bond CH. This is ethyne. Now, I can add Br2 
So how many molecules of Br2? Here we have added one molecule of C in order to convert it into the alkanes. But here we will add two molecules of Br2. First the addition of Br, Br that will take place and this will result in the formation of ethene from ethine to ethene that will be formed. Then addition of another molecule of Br, Br or Br2 you can say that is added and this will result in the formation of ethene. So every time the addition that will take place across the double or the triple bond. So what will be the result here? Same catalyst here CH, CH you will write like this only and then Br, Br and here also Br, Br. So what is its name? This is one carbon, this is second. One, one, two, two, how many bromine atoms? Four. So it will be tetrabromo. Tetra bromo ethane. So I think addition of any molecule of H2, Cl2, Br2, in case of HCl also you can add, one H will be added here, Cl will be added here. So these are the addition reactions of the carbon compound, mainly the unsaturated hydrocarbons, that is alkenes and alkynes. Sometimes addition across the propene or propyne, uh, that may be asked, there also the addition will take place only across the double or the triple bond. This you will study in higher classes. So that's all about the chemical properties of carbon compounds which are very very important. Thank you.